Thanks for staying with us. The Bill O'Reilly in the Kelly File segment tonight. Silverton, Oregon is a small town southeast of Portland. Population 7,400. The mayor of the town is Stu Rasmussen. He says he's a transgender person, meaning he dresses like a woman, does Stu. Well, it's caused some controversy, as you might expect, because the mayor showed up at a youth event in heels and a short skirt. Now, Factor producer Dan Bank was a bit confused by all that and sought out Mr. Rasmussen. Well, do you think it's appropriate to wear that type of clothing in front of 10-year-olds, 11-year-olds, 12-year-olds? <laughs> These are 10- and 11-year-olds that have been coming to my business for years, and we're all on a first-name basis. What about the traditional families? Don't you think that their children, you know, they should have the option of having their children not see that? This is... 2009. I mean, would these same families 30 or 40 years ago be concerned that the mayor had showed up and happened to be black? So we live in a democracy. And the, the community has decided. They elected me as their mayor. Now, I will admit there's a possibility that what I was wearing was maybe inappropriate for that particular situation. And in that case, what the director should have done was taken me aside at that time and said, Stu, this, this may not be appropriate, and we could discuss that. That wasn't the route that was taken. Here now, attorney and Fox News anchor Megan Kelly. I gotta be really careful on this one, <laughs> but you, you know, I, it's so bizarre. I lived in Oregon for a year. It's a beautiful state, but it's secular progressive heaven. You know, yeah. I mean, every left wing loon in the world's running out, including Stu. Uh, what do you say? <laughs> Listen, is Stu should be hugging and embracing the people of Silverton, Oregon. But I don't that know is if they a secular want progressive to town. Listen, that that this town elected him mayor and he does go by yeah. he knowing that this is what they were getting. They clearly have no problem with this. He how does he thank them? He then shows up at a leadership event for children, children. dressed in a tank top and a micro mini skirt and super high red heels totally violating the city dress code, which was in effect and he knew was in effect before he goes there. It clearly bans miniskirts and it bans tank tops for women. And I won't even tell you what the dress code is for men. I mean, t technically, he's still a man, uh, notwithstanding the breasts. And so there's no doubt he violated it. And when they wrote a letter saying, hey, he violated it and that's not acceptable, what does he do? He threatens a lawsuit. He threatens a lawsuit based on what transgender they, can they discrimination. Can they, can they, no one's even talking about that. No, they They're like just, Stu. Huh? They do like Stu. And, and his thanks is to call them intolerant and to threaten a lawsuit. Stu, I mean, listen, I don't, you know, <laughs> Stu is an interesting person. He says it was very hot yeah. that day. It was hot and sticky outside. Uh -huh. And he said he got a lot of compliments on the outfit bill. Mm. Um, he yeah. also says that he does identify as a male, that he's got a girlfriend, that he changed the upstairs. Stu has a girlfriend. He didn't change the downstairs, if you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. uh, and when he got elected, he said, I think this is just about the coolest town on earth. Just before he broke down, a tear gently ran through his eyeliner. Did the uh, tear hit the miniskirt? <laughs> Do we know how far it went down? Just saying. Could you find a more progressive, welcoming, open town? And they let him. The woman who complained is the woman who invited him to speak to yeah. the 10, 11, 12-year-olds. Yeah. And that's the woman he's, he's threatening you, a lawsuit against here, now. Here's a personal question for you. Do you think children need to be protected against the likes of Stu? I don't, actually, no. no. So, so you're, you're at this little uh, award ceremony, okay, in, in Oregon, and you're 14. And Stu comes chasing in. Mm -hmm. And you don't think 14-year-olds need to be shielded from that? They, they, no, they I have don't. To be, they have to be confronted with Stu. I don't. That's part right? of life. There are transgender people here. They're not bad. I don't bad. know any. There aren't There's, any They're, they're not bad. They, no. they have, uh, you know, a, a, an issue, obviously, that's been recognized and protected in many places by the law. Right. And most of these people have led very tortured lives where they've sought to change it and to get to, you know, their happy place by going through an incredible amount of heartache and, and physical uh, okay, trauma. Okay, so you don't think children need to be protected I think from they, this? I think it's difficult to handle as a parent, but no, that they're part of our society and children need to understand that to, to the extent we can explain it. Okay. Now, uh, we